Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do top 10 under £10. These are all products that I think are really good but um, they're all less than £10. So some of these things you can buy at Boots, some of them you can buy online but they're like easily accessible things as well. I didn't want to choose things that were you know kind of like harder to get. So these are all things that are relatively easy to find and um, I can put some links down below as well. Okay I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so starting off with primer, um, if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me rave about this a hundred million times. This is the Collection Primed and Ready uh, Primer with Witch Hazel. This is a mattifying, pore minimising primer. I use this um, around my nose and just kind of like where I have large pores. It does help your makeup stay on and I think for the price, it is about, I think it's about £5. Um, I will list the prices down below of what I can find online. Okay, uh, I'm going to kind of go in the order with what when you put them on your face. <laughs> okay, um, next is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now, I don't use this one very often, and I kind of didn't use it for ages. I was like, oh, it's not that good, I don't really like it. And then I've started using it recently a little bit more, and um, it is a really good foundation. I wouldn't say it has the best staying power, but the colour range is really good. This is the lightest shade this is. I would tell you but there's no colour on it it's the lights one um, I think they've recently changed the packaging of this so this is the old packaging the new one's more square but if you see this I would definitely recommend picking this up yeah so the true match in some places online is 9 99 and then other places it's 5 99 but I think in store it is I think it is 9 99 I think that's how much I paid for it anyway okay next is the collection lasting perfection ultimate wear foundation now this foundation so well priced it's literally about five pounds and i would use this foundation like all the time if i could there is one problem there's only one specific time of year i can use this and it's because it's like this dark i wore this when i went on holiday and um it lasted so well it lasted really well throughout the day it's oil free it's just a really great foundation but i'm pretty sure like this is like the lightest color that they make and obviously it's just not going to happen. But if you are more tan than me, or if you want a good summertime foundation if you fake tan, then I would definitely recommend you try this one out. Oh, I've got to scrub that off my hand now. Right. Okay, next up. Ooh, back to some more collection. This is the... I don't know what it's called because the name's jumped off. It's the same kind of, like, range as this. It's the Lasting Perfection Concealer, I'm pretty sure. Um... This makes no sense because their foundation is too dark and then this concealer is like the lightest concealer ever. It's amazing. Um, I would say that this is a really, really good concealer, especially for the price. I know a lot of people um, use this and love this, but I would definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't tried it yet. And mine is in the shade uh, Fair One. This is the problem with swatches. I've got to oh, scrub everything off. <laughs> um, what's next? Let's go with, yeah, this. So if you go to Superdrug, they have uh, Freedom Beauty, which is kind of the same as Makeup Revolution. I'm pretty sure they're owned by the same company. Um, but they do these little pro artist, like, magnetic pans like this. Um, and they do contour shades, they do some eyeshadows. And basically, this was like £2 or something. It was really, really inexpensive. And it's quite a nice contour colour for somebody who's light. This is in contour 03. Um, so I definitely recommend looking at these if you wanted to try magnetic palettes. They also sell their own magnetic palettes for about five, six pounds. So that's really good. And then speaking of Freedom and their eyeshadows, their eyeshadows are also really good. Um, I've got one here just as an example. This is the eyeshadow shimmer 02. This is a beautiful colour. That one there. Um, I took this on holiday team when I went to Paris in my little palette. Um, I really like these. This was literally £2. And I've used their mattes as well. And they're actually definitely worth the £2. Okay, next is the Barry M Dazzle Dusts. I've got these in like five different colours. I've got one in iridescent gold. I've got like petrol black, which is like a blue black like sparkle colour, they are just really, really good. And the pigmentation on them 
This is actually quite a similar colour to that um, Freedom eyeshadow. I'll just do a little, a little swatch. I've got this on my eyes today. I've got this on my, on my lid. Um, so it's that one there. It's so pretty. Yeah, so I have actually used that today. And this makeup look should be up on my channel. And if not, then it will be up soon. Okay, and then talking of eyeshadows, I just want to mention the Makeup Geek shadows. Now they're a little bit, you know, slightly harder to get. But the Beauty Bay does have free delivery over £15. So you could get a couple of these and then have free delivery. And they're definitely worth the money. Um, also, you find people selling these on Depop and places like that as well. This one is Peach Smoothie and I actually bought that off of Depop recently. Um, and it's in like perfect condition and it was just a little bit cheaper than it usually is. Okay, and then moving on to lips, I would definitely recommend the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I know the, the hype of these has kind of died down a little bit, and I admit I don't use mine as much as I used to. I have Stockholm, um, this is Ibiza, what else do I have? I have Stockholm, Milan, Prague, and Ibiza, yeah, and they're all really good, I do like these. Um, I mean, they are really, really nice colours, they're really pigmented. This is like the one of the few kind of shades that I own, this is one of the few things I own in this shade. And I should wear it more often because I do like it. Okay, and then lastly are the LA Splash Lip Couture Liquid Lipsticks. Um, this one is in the shade Instant Vixen. I actually won a competition a while ago and they sent me like quite a few of them to try out, so I've tried out a couple of different formulas. This is the waterproof one, but I do like their Velvet Matte one slightly better. Um, so I would recommend trying and just seeing which ones you like the best because these are these are quite well priced. But what I would say is if you want to try a liquid lipstick but you don't want to spend, you know, loads of money on one, um, I would try one of these out. But I would recommend not putting on too much with these. With these less is definitely more. Apply a very thin layer and then you can kind of like dab in the centre if you need a little bit more coverage. So that's just this kind of, this colour here. It was not a very good swatch, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I do really like these, they last quite a long time, I've worn these out before, um, and they definitely last through quite a lot. Okay, so that's everything for this 10 under 10 challenge. Um, if there's anything down below you want to recommend to me, that would be great. So if you're ever in boots or you're ever just browsing around on the internet and you see any of these, I would definitely recommend trying them out because they're all really well priced and definitely worth the money. Okay, thanks for watching, bye!